Hi, my name is Kai and today we want to have a look on the property arrangements in ePlan. With the property arrangements you can make a setting for your displayed informations on devices which fits to your requirements. So maybe you want to have some individual informations on your devices and therefore the property arrangements helps you to show these informations automatically. You can get some default values for your property arrangements, but you can also use some user-defined settings. You can save your user-defined settings and use it as a default value. How we set up a user-defined property arrangement and for what it can be very helpful, I will show you on two examples. So stay tuned. So when we have a look, for example, on this MCCB, we can see that the information which are shown is the device tag and the technical data. So when we click on our MCCB and go to the tab display, we can see here the property arrangement, which is set to default value. And the default value shows all these information automatically. When we go to the tab motor overload switch, we can see that here is the displayed device tag and the technical characteristics, which you can find as well here in the property arrangement. But now maybe we want to show some additional information or we want to have less information. So we modify now these property arrangements according our requirements. For example, we don't want to show the engraving text. Maybe we don't have it or we don't want, just don't want to show it. We can delete it here and we can add new properties. Therefore, we click here on new. And for example, we want to show from this part the order number. So we search here on the right side to, for the order number. We can select it with OK. We also can move it here with the arrows up and down. And when you don't want to dock it, on the device tag, maybe you want to have it somewhere else. You can also undock it. And then you have the possibility also to change all the properties here. I keep it docked on the device tag. And now I click apply and OK. And you can see that now we have also the order number. Maybe it's a little bit too big for us. Then we can change on the right side also the font size for example, to 1.8 millimeters. And if we are ready with everything, we can save our property arrangement. Therefore, we go here on save and give this property arrangement a name. And if you want to have this property arrangement as a default, you can click here on use as default and click OK. And then when we insert the next motor overload load switch, we will get automatically this property arrangement. So now we click OK. And now we go to our insert center and search, for example, for another MCCB. Go to device. And use, for example, this one. We insert this here in our drawing. And you can see that automatically the order number is shown. When we double click on our MCCB, we can see that the property arrangement is automatically set to my PA. I delete this and now we want to make a second example, for example, here on the cable. So as a default value, we can see that the cable is on the left side. So here on the property arrangement, we can also select from different property arrangements which are delivered with the installation of ePlan. For example, we can left top 90 degrees and then it's shown on this way. But maybe you want to have it on the right side and you don't want to show the voltage. And this is something you cannot find here on the property arrangement. So we need to do our own property arrangement. So I go back to the default value and now I delete, for example, the voltage. This is something I don't want to show. And 
Now I can go to the right side and change, for example, the base point. This should not be the insertion point. This should be lower right. When I click now, apply and OK, I can see now that, OK, this is now on the right side, but it's still 90 degrees. So I go to the angle and change this to zero. And maybe now it looks OK, but we can also change the alignment to upper left, click OK. And maybe now this is the arrangement we want to save. Then we double click on our cable and go to save. I don't want to set this as a default, so I don't activate this checkbox. Click OK and OK. And now, for example, I can change also here on this cable the property arrangement because now I can select it from my list and have now here the same property arrangement like for this cable. And later on, if you want to change something on the property arrangement or you want to have an overview about it, you can go to the tab Tools and here to Property Arrangement. On this drop-down button, you can also reset the property arrangement. And when we click on Property Arrangement, you will get a list of all property arrangements in your project. I change it to the tree view. And when we go to Components, I see Electrical Engineering, Protection Device. You can see that for this variant, I have, for example, my property arrangement, my PA. For a test, I already did another one. So this is also possible to delete now from here so that just this is available. And here you can also now reset that this property arrangement should be default. Click apply and OK. And when I now insert the MCCP again, you see set now ePlan takes the property arrangement default value from the installation. So do you have some questions about property arrangements in ePlan or for which devices do you use your own property arrangements? Please leave a comment. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e-blend scans.